फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर एन इलेक्ट्रिशियन और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर देन यू मस्ट ऑलवेज कैरी दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ टेस्टर एज यू नो दैट ऑल इलेक्ट्रिशियन कैरी दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यून टेस्ट लैम्प विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लाइन टेस्टर बाई यूजिंग दिस लाइन टेस्टर वी कैन डिटेक्ट फेस सप्लाई इजिली लाइक इन दिस सॉकेट हेयर इफ वी वॉन्ट टू नो ऑन विच साइड देयर इज फेस सप्लाई देन टू फाइंड दिस वी यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ टेस्टर We connect this tester with one pin. After connecting, if our tester glows, then we able to know there is phase supply. Right now, this tester is not glowing, so I am connecting it to second pin. You can see here my tester is glowing. You can see here tester is glowing. So by using this type of tester, we can detect phase supply. Now of this same tester, there is an advanced model which is digital tester. By using this tester, you can check voltage very easily. You can detect phase supply, but along with this, you can see the voltage also here. That how much voltage is there in the phase supply? Like in this switch board, if I connect this tester, here is phase supply, so I am connecting it here. You can see in this tester there is some indication. You can see here it is written twelve thirty six fifty five hundred and ten and two twenty volt. It means in this pin of socket, right now there is two twenty volt or more than this. whatever voltage is there it is shown here now suppose if i connect this tester with neutral power supply and if there is some voltage in neutral supply then it will show you that also if i connect this tester with neutral power supply then i won't get any indication here you can see here my tester is not glowing but if in your neutral power supply there is even some voltage like 12 volt 24 volt etc if there is some voltage then in this condition this line tester digital one this tester will show you voltage like if i connect this digital tester with neutral power supply then you can see it is showing voltage here as 36 volt and 55 volt is also displaying here but not properly it means less than 55 volt voltage is there in the neutral power supply of socket if i connect this tester here then it is not indicating anything that there is some voltage So by using this digital tester you can check the voltage very easily. If you don't use this type of tester here then separately you have to use a multimeter and through multimeter only you can check the voltage. But by using digital tester you can check voltage easily. So about these two tester I told you. Now besides these two tester you must have this type of NCVD. Full form of NCVD is non contact voltage detector. We can use these two tester at the time only when wire is open like in this switchboard terminals of switchboard are open so in this open condition only i can use this type of tester if i want to check phase supply here then it must be open here but we can use this device even if it is not open like i am showing you i am turning on power supply power supply is on after turning on power supply here you can see i connected two wires If I want to detect among these two wires that which one is phase supply without removing insulation of wire then simply I can use this type of device if I connect this with neutral wire here I am assuming black wire is of neutral power supply so I am connecting this with wire when I touched here there is no indication it means power supply is not in this wire if I connect this with phase supply wire then you can hear the beep sound here along with this one indication is also glowing you can see here indication is glowing and along with it beep sound is coming so when using this detector if beep sound comes along with this if warning indication is glowing then you can say that in your wire current is flowing i am showing you connection with this also in this switchboard there is power supply here must be neutral supply right now there is no beep sound here will be phase supply you can see it started making beep sound So without removing insulation of wire if you want to know that there is voltage or not then this type of detector you can use you must have seen sometimes that wire breaks at a point if your wire breaks from somewhere then you can't find from where the wire got broke then in this condition by using this detector very easily you can find from where the wire got broke just keep the contact like this throughout wherever beep sound stops then you will be sure that wire got break from that point Besides if you work in an electrical circuit and in electrical circuit if you want to find out fault then through this device you can find fault very easily like for now i am turning on the power supply after turning on power supply if i press this push button then contactor must turn on it is not getting on 
there is some problem. To find the problem, what I can do is this device here, I can connect it with phase supply. Beep sound is coming, it means it is okay. Now from this limit switch, power supply will go to this wire. Right now power supply is not going. It may be possible that after operating limit switch, power supply will continue. So I am operating this. After operating, I am checking the voltage. It is not indicating any voltage. It means there may be some problem in connection or there may be a problem with wire. In this wire, there is voltage but in this wire, voltage is not there. So I am checking this. Look, this wire here is now open. It means I removed this wire from connection through which power supply was not going forward. So I detected that where was the fault. So by using this device, without removing insulation of wire, you can detect very easily that phase supply is there or not in the wire. Friends, these days when I perform any electrical work, then whatever fault comes during electrical work, to solve the problem of that fault, I mean to find out the fault, I use mostly these two tester. One is digital tester, second is this one. By using this tester, I easily find out that voltage is there or not at any terminal. And if voltage is there, then how much voltage is coming? Due to less voltage also, device won't get on. Like if I want to turn on this contactor, then I have to provide 220 volt power supply to this. If voltage is low in this power supply, like if 80 volt or 90 volt power supply is there, then in this condition, it won't turn on. So how much voltage is going to device? To check this also, I use this tester. Besides to check power supply, I use this also. Only these two devices I am using. Usage of line tester is very less. If you use this tester, then you can reduce the usage. In place of this, digital tester you can use or you can use this also.